thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LAE, FILSAT, and all of those nice things. Now, this video in particular will help you a lot, especially if you're taking one of those tests or you master plumber exam. Dahil it's all about pipes and drains and all of these things na pag nagpupuno ka ng tanke. And actually, if you're taking up uh, senior high school or kung meron kayong algebra sa inyong uh, SEM ngayon, this can also help you guys. Kasi lumalabas din ito. It's kind of a variation sa work problem. And in order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC in a bit. Now, today... This shirt is sponsored. <laughs> Dito ay regalo ni Tita Jel. So, Tita Jel, thank you po for my uh, sh new shirt, Team Jesus. And uh, I appreciate that a lot because uh, I don't usually buy stuff for myself. But when you guys send in or when you give me stuff, uh, it really makes my day. So, thank you po, Tita Jel, for this Team Jesus shirt. Now, today, again, like I said, we're going to switch over to my PC so I can show you kung paano mag-solve ng mga, kung merong mga pipes at may drain, at may tank, at pa kailan mo siya mapupuno. Alright? So, see you in a bit. Alright, so this is part 1 ng ating series on pipes and tanks or yung problem na nag-require na magpuno ka ng isang drum or magpuno ka ng isang swimming pool or anything like that. Minsan may mga pipes or may mga tubo, minsan may drains. First, we're going to talk about the basic form ng problem. Before tayo dumagdag ng mga iba-ibang components, we're going to start with this. Now, this is actually something that would fall under work problem kasi medyo pareho yung concept niya. And in order for me to better show you, explain ko muna yung basic concept. Ang basic concept is that there is a tank, minsan swimming pool, minsan uh, drum lang, okay? Basta may water container na kailangan ka punuin, okay? And in, itong water container na ito, meron siyang mga pipes, okay? Now, in uh, certain situations, isa yung pipe, minsan dalawa, minsan tatlo. So, paramihan ng pipe, okay? So, start tayo sa isang pipe muna. Kung merong isang pipe, papasok, okay, at pupunuin niya itong water container na ito. Tawagin natin siyang pipe A, okay? Ang sasabihin lagi sa problem is that, for example, pipe A can fill the tank in 24 hours, okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Sa loob ng apat na oras, kung bukas si pipe A, mapupuno niya yung tank hanggang sa top nito, Okay? Ngayon, usually, hindi yan isang pipe lang. Usually, dalawang pipe yan. Kung isang pipe lang yan, minsan may drain. But we're going to talk about that in the next video. Okay? Kung meron pangalawang pipe, okay, bahin natin siya ng kulay, just for emphasis. We have pipe B. Okay? So, pipe B. Si pipe B naman daw can fill the tank in 6 hours. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin nun, Kung mag-isa siya, 6 hours siyang papupuno. Kung nakapatay si pipe A at nakabukas si pipe B, siya lang mag-isa, 6 hours mapupuno na ito. And usually, the question would be, if pipe A can fill the tank in 4 hours and pipe B can fill the tank in 6 hours, how long would it take for uh, them to fill the tank together? Kung parehong bukas daw yung pipe A at pipe B, hindi sabihin meron tubig papunta doon, may tubig dyan manggagaling, gano katagal nilang mapupuno yung tank? Okay. Now, ang una nyong kailangan maintindihan is that, okay, if pipe A can fill the tank in 4 hours, gaano karami ang mapupuno niya in 1 hour? In 1 hour, okay, kung 4 hours siyang tumatakbo, okay, ang mapupuno niya ay, okay, 1 fourth ng tank. Bakit 1 fourth ng tank? Kasi, first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, okay? So, apat na oras. So, sa isang oras, dito, meron siyang one-fourth nung tank na na puno. Yan si pipe A. Sa isang oras. One hour, one-fourth ng tank. Si pipe B naman, dahil six hours ang kailangan niya para mapuno yung tank, ang ibig sabihin nun, sa first hour niya, ang mapupuno niya lang ay one-sixth ng tank. Bakit? Kasi, first hour, one-sixth, to 2 over 6, which is 1 third. And then you have uh, 3, over, uh, 3 over 6, which is 1 half. And then you have 4 over 6, 5 over 6, 6 over 6. Okay? So again, saan mo lang nakuha yun? Dividend mo lang siya. Okay? So sa loob ng isang oras, kung sabay silang nakabukas, meron ka ng 1 fourth at meron ka ng 1 sixth na mapupuno ng tank. So paakit lang siya na paakit ng level. 
Ngayon, I'm not going to suggest that you draw this, no? Kasi it will not be very accurate. But there is an existing formula that we've already talked about that you, that can help you with this, which is ito. Now, we already talked about this in our discussion on uh, work problems. This is the basic form. And it's the same dito sa pipe problem. Kaya nga, like I said, it's also a work problem. Dito sa ilalim, okay, ang gagawin nyo lang is kung ipa-plus nyo lahat ng work na ginawa ng bawat pipe sa isang oras. So, dito sa ilalim nito, ang ilalagay mo dyan ay 4. Bakit? Kasi yun yung number of hours ni pipe A. Dito naman nalagay mo 6 kasi ito yung number of hours ni pipe B. Okay? Kung baga, dun sa work problem, ito yung si, kuyari, si Anna, tsaka si Billy. Ganon. Kung ilang oras nilang kayang gawin yung work mag-isa or kayang punuin yung, yung tank mag-isa. This naman is the number of hours that they need to work together. Okay? Para mapuno yung tangke. In this case, dahil yun ang nawawala, siya ang magiging x natin. Dito naman, ang tanong dito kung ilan ang tanks na mapupuno niya. Okay? So, dahil isa lang naman yung tank na pupunuin, this becomes 1. And then, you have your formula. Ito na yung formula ng ating problem. And then, you can start solving. Okay? So, 1 fourth plus 1 over 6. Ang kanyang LCD ay 12. So, divided by 4 times 1 is 3. Plus... 12 divided by 6 is 2, times 1 is 2. Okay? So, yung mga naiwan dyan, panoorin po yung series on fractions para matuto kung paano mag-add uh, ng fractions sa mga magkaibang denominator. Okay? So, this becomes 5 over 12x is equal to 1. I-reciprocal na natin, multiply natin siya sa reciprocal or kabalik tar nito. So, 12 over 5. The answer, makakancel ito, x is equal to 1 times 12 over 5 or 12 over 5 or 2 and 2 over 5 or 2 hours and 2 over 5 ng isang oras. Okay? At kung gusto mo yan, i-convert, i-multiply mo lang sa 16, 2 over 5. So, 2 over 5 times 60. Kung gusto ninyo ng ganong klaseng level ng accuracy, so, okay, you can cancel this. Okay, I ano lang natin siya. I parang isu smallest terms lang natin siya. So, this is 1. This is going to give us 12. So, the answer is 24. So, the answer is 2 hours and 24 minutes. Again, if you want na mas accurate pa than accurate, that becomes your answer. So, ano sa nanggaling yan? Again, dito natin ilagay yung isang pipe. Dito natin ilagay yung kabilang pipe. This is x kasi yung number of hours they work together kasi yung number of tanks nila. So in order for you to practice, I'm going to give you a question right here that you can work on. This is your turn. Nilagay ko na rin dito sa gilid yung formula para lang uh, you can copy it, no? I'm going to give you time. So hit pause now. Alright, let's see if you got it right. Okay? Again, ang gagawin lang natin, if you natin yung information, sabi si pipe A, 5 hours. Si pipe B, 10 hours. How long would it take for both of them? Okay, na sabay sila na pupunuin yung tangke. So, you have 5 here. You have 10 here. This is X kasi nawawala yung number of hours na nag-work sila together. And this is 1 kasi isa lang naman yung tangke. Okay? So, again, I'm blitzing through this kasi by now, dapat napanood nyo na yung video ko on age problems. If you haven't yet, go ahead and watch that first. I'm going to link it dun din sa I dito sa taas so you can catch up kasi mas Maganda if alam nyo na yun. This will be, this part here would be easy for you. Okay? So, i, ano na, LCD lang natin sila. So, that is 10. 1 over 5 is 2 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So, that is going to be 2 plus 1 over 10. X equal to 1. 3 over 10 X is equal to 1. Again, multiply natin both sides by the kabalik taran of this. So, that is 10 over 3. Maka-cancel ito. So, you have x is equal to 10 over 3. Kasi kung ano yung multiply mo dito, yung multiply mo rin sa kabila para pantay sila. So, that would give you uh, 3 and 1 third hour or 3 hours and ano ba yung 1 third ng 60? Okay, again, pwede natin i-cancel yung smallest terms, no? So, pwede na tong 1, ito 20. So, the answer is 20 over 1 or 20 minutes. So, the answer is 3 hours and 20 minutes minutes if they work together.
All right. So I hope you learned that concept. And then I'm going to um, tell you guys to try out the quick quiz. Uh, the link will also be here, dito sa taas. And it will be a bit of a challenge question then. So if you want to go ahead and answer that, go and click right there for the quick quiz. And I'll see you there. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung exam din sila. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to find out kung meron ako mga upcoming review events na malapit sa area ninyo. Or if you want to join the online review program or kumuha ng mga review materials. I would love to hear back from you. So if you have any topics din na gusto nyo pag-usapan pa natin next, comment down below. Like this video, share this with your friends para mas marami pa tayong matulungan dito sa team na ito. And subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to know as soon as a new video posts. I try to make at least one new video lesson every week. I'd love to help you guys out. Aja aja, kaya niyan. And I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now. Never stop learning. Love you all.